Hi there, my name's Kate. Thanks so much for joining me here today at the Children's Medical Research Institute, or CMRI. You can see here in the lab behind me, this is where we do really, really important scientific research to try and help children with genetic diseases and birth conditions. Today, I'd like to let you know a little bit about the work that I do, and also let you know about one of our most important fundraisers for the whole year. Some of you may have heard about it before. It's called Genes for Genes. But first of all, let me introduce you to one of my patients, Charlize. So this is Charlize. Um, I was lucky enough to meet her as one of my patients, as another job that I do is as a children's doctor. And Charlize I met when she was just a little baby and she was really sick because she has a genetic condition called propionic acidemia. Some of you have probably never heard of that, and it is pretty rare, but one in 20 children in Australia is born with a birth defect or a genetic condition just like Charlie's. And that's why myself and the team here at CMRI are doing our best to try and find new therapies and cures for patients just like Charlie's. So this is how I managed to get into medical research. I went to high school, probably a lot like um, a school that you're at at the moment. Um, and after I finished high school, I went to, on to university to study science. There I fell in love with the human body and learning all about it and how it works. And then I went on to study medicine and became a children's doctor. However, in my line of work as a children's doctor, there were children that I just didn't have treatments to be able to help them because we haven't discovered how to help them yet. And so I wanted to become part of a medical research institute just like CMRI, where scientists and researchers and an amazing team around them help them find new ways to help patients just like Charlene's. Whilst this is my journey to medical research, there are lots of other ways that you can also help medical research. Here at CMRI, we have teams like our fundraising team and teams like our information technology team that help support the really vital work that the scientists do. So even if you're not the strongest science student, you can still help out in medical research in the future if that's something that you're interested in. And so, can you believe it? One in 20 children born today in Australia are born with a genetic defect or a birth defect, which means that their lives are often harder than other kids and they might have to go to the hospital more often. They'll often have to take medications or even have surgeries to be able to help them. And this is a little bit like my patient Charlize. So when we discovered that she had a condition called propionic acidemia, one of the current treatments we have is a liver transplant. And you can see here that she was really, really sick before she had her liver transplant. That's her in a hospital bed with her dad's hands holding her little leg, hoping and praying that she's getting better. Um, but we had to give her a liver transplant to try and help her because we don't have a cure for her condition yet. And you can see here at the bottom of the screen, this is Charlize here in our research institute, um, because she was kind enough with the consent of her parents to donate her liver so that we can study her condition um, and find out more about propionic acidemia and test new treatments and therapies that we're developing to perhaps in the future mean that patients like Charlize don't have to have a liver transplant to help them be well. We can perhaps cure their disease instead. And that's the work that I'm trying to do. So what we do here in the gene therapy research team is we use special viruses to deliver a copy of a gene that isn't working for a patient to be able to help them to have a gene that is working. And so we use this little virus, um, put in the copy of the good gene and the virus will then enter the cells that need to help um, be corrected. Um, in order to make a patient better again. And the particular condition that I'm working on is called maple syrup urine disease. Again, pretty rare, but we still have kids in Australia that don't have a cure. 
And so that's why we're working so hard towards that. Um, and as you can see here in the lab, which is where we do all of this important work, there's lots and lots of things that um, researchers need in order to help them do their jobs properly and help them perform cutting edge, cutting edge research like the research that we're doing here. And people like you are just how we keep researching. Um, so this is a group of students from Queensland who were really amazing and helped support us with our Genes for Genes campaign last year. You can see that they've got a little bit of school uniform and a lot of denim happening. And that's what Genes for Genes is all about. It happens on the first Friday in August every year. And it's the way that we raise awareness and also money to keep our labs open and our researchers researching new treatments and cures for patients just like Charlize. And there's lots of ways that you can get involved. So you could hold a fundraiser at your school, wear denim and collect a gold coin donation, um, like this other school in Western Australia also did, um, with everyone looking really awesome in their jeans. Um, you can also host something um, in your local community. And this is my patient Charlize with some of her school friends fundraising in their local community. Um, or you can do something new and exciting um, that you and your, your own um, friends and colleagues um, can, can think of to arrange. And the beauty of, of fundraising is that you're really only limited by your imagination. And the really amazing thing is that every dollar that gets raised for Genes for Genes helps researchers like me find cures for patients like Charlize. And so on behalf of my fellow scientific researchers and on behalf of the patients and the children that we're helping, thank you very much for your interest in Genes for Genes. Um, and we look forward to hearing um, your stories about how you can get involved and um, thank you so much for helping us continue our research.